All see right. the panel? So on your thermostat here, mm -hmm. you see your zone button? Right. If we push zone, we can see right there, it says zone three. It's the third area. Right? Mm -hmm. So now we go to mode, and we push mode, and see, it just turned it to fan and off. Mm -hmm. So now we just turn zone three off, push zone again, that's zone one. Push mode, auto, that's heat pump, that's furnace, fan again, back to off. And then zone two, same sequence. Okay, so it runs just like if it just had two air conditioners. It just got the third zone in just here. Like our other but one. you just keep working it to mm -hmm. get to whichever zone you want. Yep. The, and, and work it the way you want. You've got, the best way that I can kind of describe it is you've got three different columns. Mm -hmm. Okay, and column one, which is zone one, you're going to have one air conditioner, the heat pump, and the furnace. And then in zone two, You've just got the air conditioner, zone three, air conditioner. So it has three zones for the heater too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's only in one zone. Yep. Okay. One zone controls it. Okay. I, I, I've never had one with a heat pump, so I okay. don't have no clue what that is. But. So the heat pump, it's pretty well much like an electric furnace, an electric heater, mm -hmm. but inside the air conditioner. Um, so you'll have some heat coils in there and those heat coils get hot and it turns on the air conditioner fan only and it circulates that warm air throughout the trailer using those vents. Not uh, out of the floor. Correct. So we don't have any floor vents. You do. That's under the furnace zone. So if you wanted the floor vents, you can turn on the furnace and you can also turn on the heat pump. So that way, essentially, you've got double the heating capacity in this thing. Okay, how do you how do you get to your heater? Because I'm just seeing the three zones for the air conditioner. Okay, so now that when you go back to zone one. Zone one is always your main? Now push your mode. Yeah, zone one is always the main. There you go, that's the heat pump. And that is the furnace for the floor? Nope, that's this one up here. If you want the furnace for the floor, push your mode button again. Furnace. Oh, okay, so everything's under zone one. You mm -hmm. push both of them at the same time. Okay. Yeah, you're Turn the air back on, baby. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and then there's a time delay. So then this, once it kicks on the air conditioner, see how that little, mm -hmm. it's saying, wait, because i got to shut down the furnace and then shut down the heat pump, and then it'll kick on the air conditioner. All right, yeah, so that works just like, like the other one. It's just it's got the third one, and that's where your furnace and everything mm -hmm. is all under zone one. Yep. You got it. And you can push and hold it so you can check the inside temps. So right now it's showing 81 degrees. You can change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius, if you like reading Celsius. Um, the program mode is so that way, if you really wanted to get sophisticated with the system, you can actually program it at a certain time to turn on an air conditioner, at a certain time to turn on the furnace. So say you know you're going to go away for a day and you don't feel like winterizing the trailer, you can come in here, hit program, to turn on the furnace at 6 o'clock at night to 70 degrees. That'll be nice like when we're at, at home so it doesn't run all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, whenever we bought this trailer and the guy was going through showing us this, he said, this program button, he said, just don't hit it. He said, it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> So the, it's, <laughs> That's it's what really not that bad. Um, <laughs> when, they, when we bought that trailer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So most times with well, these <laughs> thermostats, they're, they're very sophisticated. And sometimes, unfortunately, they're a lot more sophisticated than what people are used to. So if it was someone that was used to just a, a rotary, a dial one, he's not going to play with that in fear of damaging the system. You cannot hurt this system by pushing those buttons. So please, by all means, push as many buttons at once as you want. It, it won't hurt. Another thing too, it used to be if you put your air on auto, we were in Arizona and everybody was freezing up. Uh, and they would quit and it was because of the auto. My friend and I went to the Trader Joe's place and says, you never use auto. <laughs> you know, you, you always set a temperature you want and stuff because uh, no, so unfortunately... Or is it, these are different now. This is 